This is nice. I don't usually have green tea, but tonight I'm doing green tea. <laughs> Hello, my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here, and I'm enjoying a nice cup of piping hot tea right now because my voice is a little, you know, it's in that in-between state where I haven't quite lost it. But only just, you know. So I'm trying to nourish and nurture and uh, go easy on it right now. I gotta show you my mug because I think some of you will like this. Ignore the lipstick. Stay. That's not important. That doesn't matter. I have a little Moomin, little Moomin mug, and I'm just drinking. A very non-special green tea, just regular old tea bag with uh, some honey in it tonight. So about my voice, um, I just got back, I say just, it was like five days ago. I just got back from Fan Expo Canada, which is big comic and pop culture, general geekery convention here in Toronto, and it was a great show. I was a guest there, and it was really fun. I got to see so many of you, which was a treat for me. <laughs> uh, I had so many great moments, and it was a really great time, but you know, it's a long convention. It's four days, four days of talking can uh, be a little bit, that's a lot on but I had a great time, you know. Um, thank you. Um, I got to uh, debut some of my new patch designs and my new sticker designs from my illustrative work, and I was really happy. People seemed to really like them, so that was really great. I got to meet a bunch of you, and um, some of you have seen my last video, which was some. Um, my jewelry collection might remember this, but in that video, I actually said that I usually forget to wear jewelry, um, it, which is true. It's something I generally forget to do. Um, usually, I might remember my ring, but even then, I will forget sometimes. And on the you know occasion, I'll remember to wear earrings, but not always. Had probably at least five of you viewers who I met this weekend say to me, um, and you know, good job remembering to wear jewelry for this event. <laughs> Which was so funny to me, you know, because I, I forgot that I said that, even though I said it. I was like, how did you know? Shall I forget to wear jewelry? How did you know that? Because I put it in a video. <laughs> so, it was a great time, but uh, my voice, you know, I worked overtime. You know, it's funny, uh, in general, I can do a lot of talking and be pretty okay, but four days of talking when I usually don't talk. Anyway, that's not what today's video is about, but I did want to give a little explanation as well. It's been just a little longer than I would have liked since the last video, so thanks for being patient with me. And it's just one of those things where it's the summer and it's not even like I've been out doing, I haven't been to the beach or anything, it's just, you know, everyone plans their events during the summer. Don't you think? In my experience, that's the case. So, what this video is actually about, I'm sure we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Maybe in five or ten more minutes. Huh? Hmm. I wanted to show you something, actually, that I just got literally today. 
I had a different plan for the video that I was going to film tonight, but plans change because I got a completely surprise package in the mail today from Sanrio, and I was not expecting this. I didn't know this was coming. I didn't, I wasn't prepared at all. I hadn't gotten an email or anything, so it took me by surprise, but it was a wonderful surprise. Uh, this came in a really pretty bright red box. And I remember thinking to myself, what is in that bright red box? But Hello Kitty herself. What's in that bright red box? I got this little note that says, Hi Angelina. We hope you love our new collection with Thank you for being a friend of the brand from the same team. Hashtag Hello Kitty. So I was just like, oh my goodness, what is this? And wouldn't you know it, Hello Kitty has a new fantastic collection with Loungefly. Now Loungefly is not a brand that I've owned up until this point. However, good friend of mine named Dina. Hey, Dina. Uh, she has a bunch of Loungefly, Loungefly pieces. So I'm pretty familiar with their stuff because she has a couple purses from them and all of her purses, like, they've held up through good quality. Um, they do a lot of stuff with Disney, too. They do lots of collaborations. But this is the first time for me that I've owned Check out this fantastic purse. This is an incredible, incredible handbag. As you can see, Hello Kitty has transformed herself into a watermelon. And it's so cute. It's got this little uh, bow with Watermelon seeds. And on the back. Weirdly, I think that this is just as cute as the front, but not everybody might think that, but that's what I think. It says Lounge Fly for Hello Kitty. And I really love the way this looks like the outside. purse is actually really well made. When I took it out of the box, I couldn't uh, believe like, how sturdy and how well the seams were blended together. You know, I love novelty purses, so I end up looking at and um, sometimes purchasing quite a few novelty purses. And they aren't always made to be the best quality, like, you know, definitely not as good as Kate Spade bag that, you know, I did a video about, but it's a lot of times with novelty purses, they're just not made as well. They're not made to last because they're novelty bags. But this bag is actually really well put together. The clasps are really heavy duty. There's this little cute tag here. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. Now, the strap on this is black. If it were me, I personally think it would have been cuter to do maybe a green or red strap. But, again, at the same time, I guess you could say that the black ties into the little watermelon seeds. But, you know, I have to find something to critique, don't I? Maybe I don't, but <laughs> that's how I maybe would have done this part. That being said, if you mostly wear black, it might be nicer to have a black strap. And the reality is, it's a removable strap. So, if you wanted to, you could change the strap. Now, 
Now, I'm hoping that you'll be able to tell. But the details of certain parts of this are embroidered. They're not uh, screen printed on or anything like that. Like these designs up here. However, these are embroidered. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine watermelon seeds. Gosh, I don't think I've had a watermelon one time yet this summer. I've got a remedy. strap on this is nice because it's completely adjustable. So you could do like, you know, over the shoulder, um, a handbag, or you could do crossbody. I find I'm always crossbody, like I'm a crossbody type bag girl, unless I'm doing like an elbow, like, you know, carrying the bag on my elbow, but in general. Let me just take the tag to the side here. So I really wanted to make sure that I show you the inside of this bag. It says Hello Kitty on the inside, and it has little watermelon slices. So cute is that? This is actually a pretty decently sized handbag, in my opinion. Like for myself. I could fit my entire wallet in here, and my phone, and lip gloss, probably a charger. What else do you need? Go go gadget, lipstick, <laughs> go go gadget, lunchable box for later. Snacks? Always have to have snacks. I'm really excited to try to coordinate. And I say try because it's going to be not a challenge, that almost implies it's hard, but it's going to be something that will require, I think, a little bit of intentional thought. Because it's very bright, it's very beautiful, and I want to give it the focus it deserves. You know what I mean? I feel like... the right outfit, I feel. But it also could be cute with, honestly, just like jeans and a white t-shirt. It's just so summery. I think, uh, also in my mind, this might be just me, but in my head, for some reason, I always associate watermelons with Steven Universe now. But, like, maybe I'm wrong. Wouldn't it be cute to wear the purse with this side facing out, too? Like, I get that this is the front, and I like this. But I also feel like this side's cute, too. I don't know. I would wear this side facing out.
No. I took a little peek over on the Sanrio Loungefly collection because I wanted to see what else they made in this collection. And it it's actually really cool. Um, especially if you like fruit themed items. You gotta check that out because there's this Strawberry backpack, like Hello Kitty has a strawberry. Um, I, I think there might be another watermelon piece. Um, and there's lemon. There's lemon in purse. And oh my gosh, so all fruits themes with this collection. But you know, I looking at it, I was like, oh, that's so funny. I do like the. It's a really cute purse. And I am really excited to pair an outfit with it. I don't wear too much of this kind of... I guess you'd call it a watermelon red. But it's a little bit pink too. I don't wear too much of this. But, you know, I do wear green a lot. So, we'll see what I can do with it. I'll do my very best. There's still...
know, I just wanted to show this to you guys. I thought that you would get a kick out of it the way that I do. And, you know, it just came today, so I thought, why not show it to you right away? <laughs> mm. This tea is doing me wonders. And, uh, You know, this is kind of got me thinking. It might be cool to do.